Embracing the strange, today's illusion is covered in speaking dreams. This is a rather old concept that I skipped over because the initial pose wasn't engaging enough to me. I've since then retweaked it further to the version you see now, which reflects part of my most recent creative direction. So I'd like to think I've elevated it in this hybrid form. The figure is wilted from growing pains and sensations, held upright by its arm and to a lesser extent its legs, all three each in a different stage of motion. Its torso is raw and open. Above it, a lone white eye gazes out. From the elongated neck, a sort of alien head lolls about, containing four distinct eyes. The green one, in particular, surveys the hollowed palm of the raised hand. There's conflict in perception. The figure is at odds with what it feels and what it knows as well as what is evident versus what isn't. It wills itself to be strong with the hand supporting it, is assuring itself, not unlike a pinch to wake up. It is tangible. I'm happy with how it turned out. It took 50 minutes or so. And this is really the first of a subseries. The tip of an iceberg, as they say, but also for you as of you are like a little, you know, toe dip in a pool to test the temperature. Going forward, expect extra. That is extra limbs, eyes, fingers, figures, whatever you've seen before. It was probably mild because my newer sketches are, I don't know, I'm taken aback by them myself. I'm like, oh, this is really embracing the strange. And I have so many ideas and every idea germinates another and it's a domino effect. Some ideas are counter concepts, so it's like, yes, each painting is a standalone, but they are all very much one in my mind. I've said before, I think of them as like very sequential, like you have to consume them that way. But even, like I said, the counter, like there are some that are like immediately opposites that concurrent. You'd have to look at them at that exact moment to get that they're actually connected. To me, it's like I'm painting a long conversation or an argument within myself. My paintings are talking to me, each other, pulling from my other artistic endeavors, and telling me of myself. And it's so complex now. I'm just like, oh, hmm, this is who I am now. So if you take anything away from this video, it is art. Truly art and art goes on. So I will in my next video. Thank you for watching. Consider liking, commenting, or subscribing if you want.